a multi-million dollar project hopes to expand and bring more essential services to an underserved community in South Dallas. Bonton Farms started as a way to bring fresh produce and goods to the area. Now it's looking to expand into affordable housing, offering health and wellness services and a lot more. Fox Wars Lynn Ann Wynn joins us live from Bonton Farms with the story. Hi, Lynn Ann. Hi, Clarice. Well, right now there's only two tiny homes on this property, but Bonton Farms hopes to expand this into a multi-million dollar project to offer affordable housing and other services to many more in this area. It's an opportunity to create innovation in our community, and so that gives us a lot of uh, uh, hope. Uh, for people that's trying to get back on their feet and, and live a productive life. Bonton Farms started several years ago to fill a need in the community for fresh produce and other groceries, with the area considered a food desert. You know, the closest uh, Whole Foods was probably about six, seven miles away from here. The closest grocery store, four miles away. From here. It has since turned into so much more for the neighborhood, creating 60 jobs and paying over one and a half million dollars in wages back into the community this year. Now they hope to expand the effort well beyond this to include affordable housing and health and wellness, as well as financial services. So that's why we're trying to innovate and bring new tools that we can use to help people get off the street and into stable living situation because their stable living situation will help their job and everything else become stable. The $11.6 million project plans to bring a health and wellness center, tiny homes and apartment buildings with over 40 units, including safe, affordable housing and sober living. We have pallet shelters that start at renting at $50 a month. These will rent for about $350 to $400 a month. And we're trying to have a stepway so as you build your life, if I can afford another hundred dollars, I want a, a house that's a little more comfortable and has more amenities. Hoping to be an example for other communities to grow. So getting sober or getting a job and holding it down or learning new behaviors that are going to help me be more successful. Those are hard to do, but if I know I got a safe place to go home and rest tonight, then I'm willing to do that stuff for this. And the project already has support from the mayor and some city council members. They also have over $2 million in fundraising so far, but they still hope to fundraise more in order to move the project forward.